Strange. Sie glauben, sie wüssten, wie die Welt funktioniert. Was, wenn ich Ihnen sage, dass die Ihnen bekannte Realität nur eine von vielen ist? There were three pitch yourself, oh my goodness, I'm playing a superhero moment. Moments rather in this in the making of this the first was putting the cape on for the first time the cloak I should say sorry uh, In the costume fitting and I got caught out by a designer who just said oh yeah I've seen that look before because I was just smiling gormlessly in the mirror and uh, She said you're having a superhero moment and that was probably the first time and then the second was on the streets um, where that that meme <laughs> appeared and then went around the world of uh, Chirst and I sort of jumping and skipping and Yet It was a profound moment in a way, despite how ridiculous it looked, because we were in the shadow of the Empire State Building on Fifth Avenue. It's such a New York-based character, but to be in the, literally in the eye line of uh, that great building where a lot of these comics were first drawn was, was sort of a moment. And then the third one was watching it at the premiere, and by the end of the film, my God, he's earned his cloak moments. And, uh, you know, he really is a superhero and, a, and an Avenger in the making. With help of mystical power, we use the energy um die Realität zu formen. Wir reisen über weite Entfernungen. In einem Augenblick. What was for you the biggest challenge introducing magic into this universe where we have this superheroes and a lot of technology, but we haven't had magic like this before? I mean, the biggest challenge was first of all to throw out old ideas of, of magic, you know, because we, I think we've been relying on the same tropes for the whole history of cinema you know i mean going all the way back to you know german expressionism and dr caligari and all the way through the harry potter movies you know there's there's you know certain uh uses of magic bolts of light and and fireballs there's this colored amorphous light idea of magic that's not very interesting and uh and spells being cast Uh, with verbal incantations, and then you watch something magic happening. I wanted it to be a, a much more visceral kind of magic, rooted in gestures and, and messing with the fabric of reality itself, you know, and, uh, and, and the idea of magic being a mind trip, uh, you know, and having an acid trip quality to it. That all, that's just all what I was wanting to see, you know, as a movie goer. So viele Jahre. Habe ich die Zeit durchsucht, um sie zu finden. How did you come up with all these amazing visuals? I mean, this is like the most fun I had in a Marvel movie in a long, long time. <laughs> just, just watching these crazy scenes. So yeah, you know, it, it's you know, it all goes back to the innovation and inventiveness of the comics. They were. They were, a, it's a psychedelic comic, you know, it was a product of the mid to late 60s when, when people were making acid trip art. And, um, and I love that stuff. I love that era. I love the mind expansion idea. I love the spirituality of it. And, uh, and I wanted to bring that into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, uh, but not in a nostalgic way, like a throwback to the 60s. I wanted to do it, you know, in a contemporary way. I wanted to give audiences Uh, a new way of thinking about magic and the psychedelic and the mystical and the metaphysical. Was haben Sie gerade gemacht? Ich habe Ihre astrale Gestalt von Ihrer physischen getrennt. Was war in dem Tee? Psilocybin, LSD? Es ist nur Tee. Mit etwas Honig. It's, uh, it was great fun and um, also like the weirdest uh, Marvel movie I've ever seen. Was that also something that... Uh, attracted you to this project? Yeah, yeah. Although, to be honest, I think if they'd asked me to be in any of the others, I would have been very interested. But yeah, it just felt like the film that I wanted to see. Uh, I knew Doctor Strange. I was so psyched when I heard, even before I spoke to Scott Derrickson, I heard that they were going to make a film of, Do of Doctor Strange. I was thrilled by that, because I know how Doctor Strange really did something new to the, to, the, to the Marvel comic universe, and it's going to do something strange to the cinematic universe uh, now, in the way that Guardians of the Galaxy went off that way, and Ant-Man went off that way, and now we're going off this way with this one. And it's, you know, it's a boom time for Marvel. They're really, they, they're, they're kicking it. 
Um, but it was thrilling, really thrilling to be involved. So I understand you knew the comics before. Are you a big uh, comic fan? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan. I'm not, you know, incredibly well versed. It so happens that Doctor Strange was the first Marvel comic strip that I got to know when I was at university. Um, but I'm a fan of Guardians of the Galaxy, for example. Uh, and I'm, I'm a fan of, of Captain Marvel as well. And I'm really looking forward to that kicking off. The Avengers schützen die Welt vor physischen Gefahren. Wir bewahren sie eher vor Bedrohungen mystischer Art. Kommen Sie mit. So how is it for you now being part of this whole Marvel Cinematic Universe? It's thrilling, universe? really thrilling. I mean, you know, I bought my ticket and my popcorn and had thrills for the last near eight years with what their output's been. And uh, to think I'm joining that roster of characters and those worlds, those that universe now, very, very exciting. Especially because in the instance of this character, he's... You know, he's bringing something very different to all of that. He's uh, he's broadening and widening and opening new dimensions in the cinematic universe. And so, you know, the canvas and playpen of it all has just got a lot bigger. Mr. Doctor. Mr. Doctor. This is strange. Mark sein. Wer will das beurteilen? Doctor Strange.